Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Costello. You spent time in the basement and some of you are still in the dark. It was a uh, it was an inch of life here today. I mean, we were just missing some of the trees missed us by an inch. Some of the trees hit the bullseye. And then we have meteorologist Patrick Pete who's tracking the storm as it moved in on you. And then look, look at this. This is the way we ended this glorious day. And then look at what fell at our feet tonight in Timonium. WMAR 2 News Dave Detling showed us earlier tonight how trees came crashing down to block streets. Dave, what's it looking like out there right now? Look at that truck. Oh. Yeah, look at that truck behind me. Well, within the past 30 minutes or so, crews removed that massive tree that we showed you earlier today. I want you to take a closer look. You can see the damage that was brought upon by the storms that rolled through our area. We're talking heavy winds, heavy rains. This truck pretty much a complete loss. Luckily, no one was hurt, but this is just a taste of what we're seeing throughout our area. Heavy rain. Winds and storm debris wreaking havoc across Maryland Tuesday. I looked out over across the field and you could see the dark, you know, just blowing in. And I said that storm's on its way and boom, next thing you know, it was here. We heard a lot of crackling and uh, the neighbor actually is the one that saw it. The transformer behind our house blew, popped. Power outages are the biggest issue aside from downed trees. Pray for power, that's all we need, air conditioning. Utility crews dealing with more than 90,000 outages at the height of the storm. Whenever a tree falls, it takes away all the wires, right? So I wish I had underground lines. Down trees also making a mess of this pickup truck. Winds so strong it uprooted a tree in Timonium, crushing it as it fell. A few doors down, neighbors were cleaning up their own debris. Yeah, we lost some shutters on the house and they blew out into the street. That's about, that's about the only damage we really had. Ahead of nightfall, powering up generators was the name of the game, as it's unclear how long it'll take utility crews to restore power. Just enough maybe so I can keep the, keep the food from spoiling and have a little bit of light this evening and have the, more importantly, have the AC working. And back here live off of East Padonia Road, you can see crews right there. That is where that massive tree was taken. That is Delaney High School. This is just a small taste of what people are dealing with. Of course, some areas much more impacted. Of course, officials saying if you don't have to be out on the roadways, stay home. This will give crews like the ones behind me a chance to better do their job and hopefully get this power restored sooner rather than later. We're live tonight, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.